Are you a Premiere Pro user and are struggling to take your XML from Premiere to Resolve with no issues? Don't worry, I've been there, I've struggled with it, I've fought this battle, and I got a few tips for you to make your life a hell of a lot easier. Let's jump into it. On today's episode of the vlog, we're gonna be talking about how to take your Premiere Pro XML into Resolve with no issues, no hiccups, no problems, no bullshit. We're gonna make it easy so you can get to coloring and finalize the film that you've been working really, really hard to get out there into the world. So let's begin here in Adobe Premiere. Here in Premiere, I have a lot of different footage, a lot of different sizes, a lot of different aspect ratios, a lot of 6K footage, a lot of 8K footage, 4K, some 2K footage, maybe some 1080, and it's all at different sizes. We'll just jump back down here to the red footage I have, and we can see that it's all scaled to different sizes. When I bring footage into Premiere, I always do this. I set it to frame size, not scale to frame size, set to frame size. This is critical to get your project from Premiere into Resolve with no issues. Another way that you can do it is you can go up to your preferences here and go to media, I think it is. And right there, default media scaling, set to frame size. Again, this is absolutely critical to make sure everything goes to resolve with no issues. Next, if we come here to DaVinci Resolve and I then import that XML sequence, I scroll all the way down here to mixed resolution and I come here to Premiere Pro XML, brings in the media. And immediately, there's an issue. Things didn't scale correctly coming into Resolve. And it's it's easy to think like, what gives? Something is definitely not right here. But we can quickly fix this in Resolve. Just by coming to this wrench here, coming here to image scaling, and input scaling rather than mismatch for resolution files to scale entire image to fit. We just gotta do center crop with no resizing. And if I hit save, and then if we just go through our timeline, everything will match now. It's true of the red footage and it's also true of the black magic footage. And then when we go to render, there will be no issues. This is what it's gonna look like coming out of Resolve. So you will have no issues when creating a Premiere Pro XML, Final Cut Pro 7 XML, and even Avid files. I, I haven't played with that, so don't quote me. Now that the files are in Resolve perfectly, let's see what happens when we go to export them and go back to Premiere. The one thing that I'm gonna do really quickly to try and make it a little bit more obvious is I'm gonna just make all my files black and white upon export just so that we have the ability to determine if the files were processed correctly just a little bit of visual differentiation that we can use to make sure things are working in the way that we want them to now that we're back in Premiere I've gone ahead and exported all my shots I created an XML with the Premiere XML export option that Resolve gives us and as you can see everything is matching my timeline 1920 by 1080 everything all the way down my red footage and my black magic footage and as you can see I have black and white footage now that matches what I did in DaVinci Resolve every shot matches the frame size and every shot is in black and white that's basically it. That's how easy it is to get footage from Premiere into Resolve and have it all scale perfectly and have it go into the program with no problems. So there you have it. Taking your Premiere Pro project to Resolve is really easy. And now you can get back to work, you can finalize that film and share something that you're incredibly proud of. If you're enjoying the content that I'm creating on this channel here, be sure to hit like if you want more updates on Resolve and other post-production technology and editing techniques, be sure to hit subscribe. It's something that I'm gonna be trying to create more of in the next coming weeks. But as always, create, share, and sustain the life that you want. Get out there and make some awesome work. Thanks, guys.